before we get going with the video, I would like to take a moment to say thanks to all my patrons. As I said many times before, I wouldn't be able to make these videos without you guys, so thank you so much for all your support. I'd also like to say thanks to Richter, Joshua and Code Gorilla for their tier 3 sub this month, and special thanks to James Williams Bond for his tier 4 sub this month. In this video, we are going to make sure that we can interact with our talent tree here. I know I promised that in a previous video, but um, it took a little longer to add these numbers and such, so we are going to do it in this video. So when this video is over, we should be able to click these and reduce the amount of points and increase the amount of um, use points here. To be able to interact with them, we will have to open up our talent tree. Inside the talent tree, we will have to add some points. Let's do this private integer points. And let's start with 10 points. Besides that, we also need to be able to access it. So let's do like this and make a property. And when we've done that, we need to make sure that we can't... Um, actually, let's just leave it public because later when we level up, we need to give the talent three points. So every time we get a level, we get one point maybe. Let's just keep this one public then because that's um, an easy way to access it. Anyway, we need to make sure that whenever we spend some points, we will reduce the amount of points up here. So this one needs to reflect the amount of points we have here. To do that, we can make a new method. Let's call it private void update talent point text. So this will update the talent point text. And in here, we simply have to access the text. So let's see here. Talent point text is not accessible right now. Let's do that. Private text. Talent point text. And let's serialize it so we can just drag it in the inspector. Down here, we simply have to say talent point text dot text equals points. Um, did I just call it point? Yeah, I would like to call it point with an S. And let's call this one my points there. That does make sense. Yeah. So to string. So I'm just going to write that. And when do I want to do that? Well, I would like to do it whenever we have set the amount of points. So whenever we change the amount of points, we just update the talent point text so that with this line of code, we are sure that this one here is updated whenever we click something. And let's see here, there is an error in the script somewhere. Or maybe it's just because it haven't saved. Let's try to see here. There, yeah, okay, it wasn't just saved. Anyway, back here, we will have to reduce the point whenever we click something. So let's see, a reset talents, update talent point text. Let's make a public method and call it try use talent. So this is going to try to use the talent and we also need to punch in a talent when we do that. So the talent we click. Remember, this is inside the talent tree. So we can't just use get component. We will just have to put it as a parameter. So if my points is more than zero, then we say my points minus minus. Let's start with that. Save. Let's go out here. And I can't remember what we did before. Let's say managers, uh, sorry, UI canvas. And let's select our talent tree and I just want to see how it looks when I open up the content here and take my abilities it's so far in wow um, we have the talent here that's fine so I can take the talent tree and actually what did I want to do? I want to click something so I want to select all my buttons let's do that here here and abilities let's select all these fire, ice, and lightning, all of them. And what are we going to do? We're going to say add component and button because we want to be able to click all of them. And then we're going to click the plus here. We're going to take the talent tree and we're going to drag it over here. Select the function, talent tree, and try use talent. Then I'm going to select all of them and drag themselves onto this so that we know when we click them, we're using the correct talent. Well, that was a double click there and there. Remember to select this one before you, 
yeah, try to drag. If I just do like this and take the next one and drag, I'll just drag ice onto fire. That doesn't make sense. And lightning. So now they're all selected. This means whenever we call this, this talent is equal to the talent we just clicked. My point should also, if it's larger, we could reduce it. Let's see what happens. Let's try to run it. If there's nothing blocking, should be able to click it so there's no reference. Uh, talent tree text, of course. So let's stop here. Select the talent tree. See that there's a talent point text. We need to find that um, somewhere unspent text. Points text is this one. So select the talent tree. Take the points text and drag onto there. It's this text that is in here. What is it? 10 right now. So when I click here, I reduce the amount of points I have. And now I can't click anymore because I don't have more points. So this text needs to reflect this right away. So let's go to our start. And when we reset the talents, actually, um, where is it? There. I think we should be able to. Um, Simply just say update. Oh, actually, when we reset the talents, we should reset it back. So um, update talent point text. Let's just call that first. There. So we are need we need to deal with it because later, if we have lots of points, and we've earned them by leveling. Uh, we need to deal with how many points we have. Basically, we should just base it on the, the player's level. Uh, but for now, let's just do it like this for, for debugging. So if I would change this one to five, for example, and run it, it should change to five when you start the game. There, so now it changes to five. And if I go back, I would like to keep it at 10. Let's keep it at 10 because we are calling reset talents when we start. Inside reset talents, we update the talent point thing. And now it should say 10 still. And there we go. So now it's 10. So with that done, we can go to our talent. Inside the talent, we need to make sure that we update these text boxes below. So we can actually also go into the talent and make a new method. I guess we can call it click or something. So let's do that right here. So public. Uh, bool click. Let's make it a bool because we need to make sure if we are allowed to click it. And this basically call whenever you click the talent. We can call this. We can return false here. We can go back and call this inside the talent tree. Here, we need to make sure that we have more points than zero and um, talent dot click returns true. Because we're going to add some functionality inside the talent that checks if we are maxed out in that talent. So I would feel kind of cheated if I clicked a talent when it's full and I lost the talent point without getting anything else because um, it's maxed out. So we need to make sure even though the talent is maxed out uh, or if the talent is maxed out and we try to click it, we won't lose our points. So let's go to the talent and we click here. Um, let's see. We need to make sure how many what's our count is basically and the count is decided based on um, the max and minimum what should I say so max is right now free and the min um, the current I mean is zero so max and zero um, so how are we gonna put this we can make two fields let's make that let's make a private int called max count the max count is decided from um, the inspector I think because it's different for each talent so it makes sense so the current count is based on how many talents I have right now. The current count um, yeah, is basically just this variable. The max count needs to be set, so let's go here. And let's see, they all have three and this one have one. So let's select fire, ice, lightning. Did I even save? No, I didn't. Let's try to save here. So we have the max count. Fire, ice in that one and fire, ice, lightning again and down no not, not those so these three up here or these six needs to have a max count of three because they have three that's what you've decided you can put it at something else if you want less or more talents of course here our max count is one we can put one more than one talent in there with that in place we can jump back to our click method right here 
And the only way that this one will return true is if our uh, current count is less than our max count. And if that's the case, then I say current count plus plus. Then I increase the current count. So that's all good. Let's try. Actually, if I don't save this, if you don't save, or if you comment like uh, this out, I just you're going to return false no matter what. Um, I just want to show you if I go to if I save, go to talent tree, and I remove the click thing right here, and I save. I'm able to click this. I just want to show you. Maybe you already understand, but I'm able to keep clicking the same talent, right? I just lose 10 points in a fireball that only contains can take three. That's what we want to avoid. So we need to say and talent the click. Go to my talents. Do this. And if this is the case, we return true. Else we return false. So this already fixed this issue for us. We should only be able to click this three times if it's correct set in. One, two, three. And you can see I can't click it anymore. So now I have seven points left because I just filled this up. However, this one is not updating. So let's update that thing. Let's say that we need some text. So let's make a private um, text, I guess, called count text. And let's serialize it. It's way easier. Put it up here with the other serialized fields. I think I want to put the serialized fields to Together, actually, or oh, actually, nope, because then we're going to reassign stuff if we move them around. So, leave them here. Um, count text. It's already contains count text. It's up there already. Wow. Okay. We already have count text, so we can go down here and say count text. The text is the same. Uh, is equal to. Let's do like this, my current, oh, like current count. And then a dash or something, and then take the max count. Right there. So this is, should be the count text. Save this. And just, just want to make sure, did we put that? Yeah, we put our count text on all of them. Wow, I forgot. So it's here. Click, click, click. So now I have three out of three points. Free are free and free are free and I can't yeah click anymore. So now that one is set up. And that's actually what I want to show in this video. In the next video, we will make sure that we can unlock the talents below and show the arrow highlighted whenever we unlock something. So thank you very much for watching.